Welcome to Baton Rouge, a college football town steeped in history and tradition. Two hours before kickoff, the team makes its way down the appropriately named Victory Hill to Tiger Stadium, a place that defines home field advantage. But tonight, they welcome a Tiger of a different stripe. It's number 17, Auburn, against number four, LSU. Tigers versus Tigers. Tuberville, nine of the last 10 games against teams in the top 10, he has won. Crutchfield to kick off. Fannin and Lester are deep for Auburn. Taken by one of the up men across the 35 to the 37 yard line. He can expect to be hammered by this LSU defense. He has been hammered all year long for that matter. David Toms, a longtime member of the PGA Tour and a winner of the PGA Championship place done as the slot receiver tonight. Cox back to throw outstanding protection. Can't find anybody then gets it to Smith and if they give him his forward progress he's going to have the first down at the 47 yard line. Had to have him. Lester the tailback. Little running room will pick up five maybe six. Like the number two defense in the entire country. Lester on the toss. Cuts it back, trying to get to the first down sticks. Deaver, two tight ends. Lester got a good lead block, but fell, and I think he's short. A huge bonus as they get the first down on the measurement in his place to play next to Favorite. Cox, good play fake. Throws to Lester out of the backfield. Lester stood up and dives forward on second effort down to the 30. Lester again picking his way through tacklers to give Lester a breather. Tate got to the 26. Did anything. Tenth play of this drive. Cox throws complete. Once again, Rodriguez Smith. They come in here on a four game win streak. Cox under pressure, scrambles. Open throws, end zone, touchdown! High time and find the open receiver. Byron for the point after. Keelan Williams is deep with Trendon Holiday. Short kick and Williams has to pounce on it at the 17-yard line. Lynn leads them out. Hester is the tailback. Of his football team and his university. Flynn goes out in the flat to LaFell. Four-man rush, pocket collapsing on Flynn. Now he's going to take off. Flynn's got the first down and more out of bounds at the 38-yard line. Full-time starter. When you talk to him, you realize the presence he's got and the kind of leadership to the tailback beside Flynn. Out in the flat, throwing a little swing pass. He's an outstanding receiver. All game quickly. Doucette coming back from an injury. Flynn throws underneath. That one is complete to Brandon LaFell, who's averaging 43 yards a kick for LSU. Slaughter filling in for Dunn. And smartly lets this one go. Straight back to throw. Now under pressure, throws it away. And Stewart. Billings comes in motion and Lester off the left side. And that stout LSU defense. Kentucky got them for 375 yards. Cox. Scrambling, dove, and just short. He flew home. Shoemaker will punt to Chad Jones. Jones says, get away. Carolina, Tennessee getting thumped by Alabama. Flynn trying to scramble, swallowed up as he got to the 37. In arm as well. 6 3, 227. Gives off on the option handoff that time to Charles Scott. Offensive line trying to get their calls right. Three man rush. Flynn throws. Far sideline, near sideline, rather complete. Flynn straight back, wants a screen, gets it out to Williams. Keelan Williams, 20. Touchdown! 
Keelan Williams showed you some speed, didn't he? He's got that fifth gear as he turned it on. He pass to tie it up. Fannin and Lester are deep for the kickoff. Lester backs up to the five. Runs into trouble at the 23. Lester on the draw. Dorsey is right there. Force collared him and dragged him down. Cox short set had it tipped and incomplete. Cox down he goes. High Smith. Ball is short. They'll let it row inside the 40. Flynn out of the shotgun. Hester straight ahead. Hester to the 48-yard line. I mean, there's competition, but there's no jealousy. Third and two here. They faced a lot of these situations against the Gators. Hester that time can't break a tackle. Fisher to punt to Slaughter. Beauty. Slaughter lets it go. Sideways bounce. And kicked into the end zone. They had a shot at it. First and ten from the 25. Tate the tailback. Cox throws. Smith. Another grab. He's out to the 31-yard line. Tate picks his way for a first down. Back in there. A chance to kind of redeem himself as a senior. You would think he would view an opportunity. Not a lot. Little swing. Fannin. Won't go down. Great effort. Yes, it was. Fannin trying to get outside. There's Stutz. That's a nice play. Shoemaker will punt. Excuse me, Tatum comes on to punt. And now Jones back at the 10. Makes the first man miss, the second man as well. And fights for extra yardage up near the 25-yard line. LSU, first down, Scott. Gonna run the option. Parallel will keep. Lost the football. Auburn has it. Powers to the four-yard line. Nice job of reading the option, making the decision to cut up. Just doesn't protect the football. It's knocked out by Zach Etheridge, number four. Powers scoops it up, and this is a whale of a play by Trendon Holiday. Tate. Wow. Marlon Favorite right there to meet him in the hole. Number 99. Tate cuts it back. Leans in inside the one-yard line. Fullback, Stewart, touchdown! Byram for the point after. Kicker. That hit an LSU player, and it's a live ball. And LSU recovers better than anybody I've ever been around. Flynn. Right to the sticks and gets out of bounds. Not to mention the secondary. Flynn short set that time. Tries to get the ball to LaFell, but threw it high. Or if he is healthy enough to get open by himself. Bird will make that catch right at the sticks. Forced out of bounds. He's on Reese, obviously, but uh, another crazy weekend is LSU going for the first down on the run. And this will be close. Well, I don't like that. I don't think he got a very good spot on that particular no, play. Sure didn't. Game. They had fourth and two, and they went for it and missed. And you know that's exactly what he wants to do is make something happen. I'm gonna blow this play dead. The rhythm. Uh, you know, the snap. False start. Number 70 on the offense. Penalties five yards. Down remain first. Team. Scott oh buried. He never had a chance. A defensive end at 291. Usually playing the side that's a uh, a rush lineman. Bird right in his hand can't hold on. Auburn comes with four. Pressure on Flynn. Down he goes. Burroughs also applying pressure on that one.
This is going to turn out in LSU's favor at the five. Cox. Dangerous pass and got it out to Billings. There is the tailback. And he'll get the carry. And Lester has the first down to spare. Out to the 19-yard line. Lester. Boy, he has given them a new dimension. Uh, that he is a difficult pass, guy to tackle. Number 99 on the defense. Penalty of five yards will be added on to the end of the run. Great blocks as a lead blocker for these three guys. This time he'll follow a tackle on the pull. Play action by Cox again. Montez Billings. Underneath Billings. First down and more. Billings 35 30. 25 yard line. 59 yards in the first half for Billings. Lester trying to get wide. Cuts it back. He's such a tough runner. Four. Good play fake by Cox. Goes right back to Billings. Montez Billings to the 14. Push back. Now the running quarterback for Auburn. It's a draw. Got the speed to get outside. For a nice play by Stelz. Yes, it was. Four-man rush, no pressure. Now Cox flushed. And makes that smart decision yeah. again to throw the ball away. Cox pressured again. Throws complete. Lester to the five-yard line. 11 out of 15 overall. He's had two game winners. And that basically a chip shot and he knocks it through. Forgot them. You know, I think about them all the time, wonder where life has taken them, and um, cherish the memories of having played with them here. All right. Well, thanks for joining us. You guys can pick that up. It never rains in Tiger Stadium. They would run their regular offense at this point. With a swing pass. Murphy. Yep. Got with great speed across midfield. They were down by 10 three different times in that ball game before winning. Flynn throws complete. That's reached back in. Second and five. They still haven't been able to find Doucette. This pass is tipped. Big third down if they're going to keep this drive alive. Blitz coming. Flynn goes down, and there's the sack that Quentin Groves has been looking for. Ball out of there without anything silly happening. And he does. Booming kick that will make the end zone. Touchdown. Gordon second. Right now in the points, it's Gordon first, Johnson second. That's very good. Yeah, it's very good. To start the third quarter. It's another squib kick taken by one of the up men up at the 31 yard line, and that's it. Touchdown. Hester, nowhere to go. Just keeps the legs moving and picks up a couple. He got that on second and long. Draw play to Hester, and Hester didn't stand a chance. Antonio Coleman, number 52. Good protection for Flynn deep down the middle for Doucette. In between three defenders. Here comes Hester on the toss. There is the reverse. Tolliver turns the corner. Big rangy long strider. Great down ball. to the 18. Coverville said to Holly Rowe. He was worried they were, were going to open it up. They weren't set. They're going to get a five-yard penalty here. Yeah. Momentum is so fragile in college shift. football. On the offense. Five-yard penalty has been declined. Second down. Comes back to an inside screen to Tolliver. This is a big call here in Perilou. This is a straight keep. Needs to get down to the seven-yard line. It's going to be about five yards short. Colt David knocks it through. The young man out of Grapevine, Texas. Most physical game of the year for our team. And that is saying something in this league. Tate. Oh, watch Bobbles this. The Here's a trick play. Who's got it? It's the cornerback. 
They call this the globe return. Dude, now Ben Tate almost messed it up by bobbling. They all five get together. Nobody knows who has the ball. Then they they get out of there like a cubby of quail. And Pat <laughs> Lee's the guy that has the football. Quail. Well, they got the ball out to the 40-yard line. Here's Lester on the draw. It takes a lot of guts. Second half. Cox trying to take off and couldn't. Third and long from the shotgun. Four-man rush. Good protection. Cox throws incomplete. Intended for Rodriguez Smith. At 5-0. They'll kick it away. Shoemaker punting to Jones. Driven back inside the 10. Fields at the 8. Makes a couple of guys miss to the 16-yard line. There's a flag down on the play after a return of eight. Well after the initial block, but that's what's going to be, an illegal block in the back. But it inside the five. And Flynn on the run, throws to Doucette across the 20 to the 25. Keelan Williams with all that speed is the tailback. This ball's batted down. Williams knew a lot of it without Groves, the most publicized lineman. Flynn throws this one and just off the fingertips, pulling in for Dunn. Now well, wait a minute, if this is offsides on Auburn, this could be a first down. He's going to come right across the line of scrimmage and make contact. Now he moved first, back in at running back. And Hester will get the carry. It's a some determined kid. Yeah. Flynn with the out to do set. Had enough for the first down yardage. They'll mark it up at the 49 yard he line. He doesn't fumble the football either. Parallel. There's the escapability he brings. Cream just as he unloaded, and it's almost picked off. Second and long for Flynn on that little half roll. And complete to the 15, then tipped and intercepted. Holy cow, Patrick Lee ends up with it. Easy catch that he just couldn't handle it. He looked it in and then oh. looked it right over his shoulder. Oh, oh. he too. Cox, pressure from behind. Throws incomplete, hit as he got rid of it. UCS poll. Dreams of a national championship are still alive, but not unless they come back to win this one. And wide open. Lester stays in at tailback. One of the best runs they've had tonight. Ball comes out loose, but after he's down. Good protection, got it to Smith. Smith, they're going to say he was forced out of bounds. There's also a flag down back at the 38-yard line. During the play, we have holding 73 on the offense. Is they're going to review the play, and if it's ruled an incompletion, then it would either be third and four, or if they take the penalty, it would be second and 14. So they can give the option to LSU. I think they're going to rule that an incompletion yep. upon review. No. Review. The ruling on the field has been reversed. Video evidence shows the pass was incomplete. The receiver came out of bounds. They do take the penalty, second and 14. I don't know if there's a medical exemption for that or not. Once again, Montez Billing. Lester has the first down at tailback. He'll get the carry and get slugged for his efforts. Auburn leads by a touchdown, bidding for more. Batted down at the line of scrimmage by Tyson Jackson. Cox under pressure, trying to scramble. Swallowed up by the rush. Braces on his legs, so he totally can relate. And the guys around here say he is so precious with the young boys. It was such a sweet picture, wasn't it, Holly? Look out. Here's the return Look out. by Jones. He dropped the ball. Boy, Chevis Jackson there to fall on it. Flynn takes over from the 31. Short set, wants the bomb. Bird. 
15, down to the 9-yard line, tackled by Powers. A perfect throw. The fullback, Jordan. Flynn for the end zone. Doucette can't hold it. Auburn showing blitz, and they come. Bird for Doucette, overthrown. Nice coverage by Gerard Powers. Flynn for the end zone, intended for Tolliver. He couldn't hold it. He's already hit from 29. This is from 26. And he drills it through. I love Taste of the Town. That's great stuff. Auburn now leads by four. Fannin. Up to the 24-yard line. Fake to Lester. Good fake. Cox wide open. He'll run if he wants to. Slides up at the 31-yard line. Tonight without Chad Henney. All right, Reese, thanks very much. Big series here. Yeah. Cox. Incomplete. That ball should have been caught by Hawthorne. Jones is deep for Shoemaker's punt. But Jones dropped it on the ground. The last punt return. Nice kick. Drive it. Does it again. Muffs it at the 15. From Charles Scott where he wants him to go. Short set throws. Complete out to the 30. That'll be a first down. Another good catch by Tolliver. Scott, the sophomore, is the tailback. He'll get the carry. Burst through a gaping hole in the line. Breaking tackles out to the 45-yard line. Four. Trying to keep its national championship hopes alive. Flynn to the tight end, Erickson. Excuse me, Dixon. Yeah. Scott, the tailback. They go first and 10 from the 30. Flynn again. Dixon again. Down to the 25-yard line. Six points to show for it. Inside handoff to Holiday. The speedster around the corner. Breaks a tackle. Touchdown. Showing a little strength. Football. They go to the shotgun. First and goal from the eight. Flynn in trouble. Now he throws over the middle and it's a drop. Doucette. Different for LSU. Parallel on the keeper. Down to the five. Flynn gets it. Play action fake. Flag is down. Flynn throws. Right to the goal line. No signal. They get a touchdown. No signal for a touchdown. But check out the penalty. Hester now does he get in or not reaches the ball for the pylon looked like it it sure looked like it it was a tremendous effort first of all there is no foul on the play there we go the results of the play is a touchdown it's Colt David for the point after. And fourth-ranked LSU has taken the lead. Don't let Butkus find him. <laughs> Fannin to the 25. The crowd doesn't want to hear that, though. <laughs> oh, no. Tate picks up about five across the 30 before Beckwith makes the tackle. The guy in question was on the other side of the ball. Fannin again, not this time. Or Tate, rather, Luke Sanders. Brandon Cox trying to keep the drive alive. Throws that one incomplete. Shippers Jackson came up and knocked it away. In this half, four drives, four punts. They have only registered two first downs. Count them, two. Jones, fair catch, made at the 29-yard line. Yes, he does. <laughs> he calls the game from the, from the field. Hester breaks a tackle, 45, 48-yard line. The carnage of the second half. Flynn gets it out to Doucette. Good block down Great field. Ball. And not only Doucette gets a first oh, down, here it's Tolliver in the yard. Nice play fake by Flynn. Hit as he throws. Complete downfield to the 25. Doucette makes the catch again. In there knowing a 316-pound tackle was going to drill him. Now Flynn on the keeper. Takes another shot down to the 23. Good team player. And he's really helped him. Paralu comes back in. And Paralu has been unable to do anything tonight. Game for LSU. 
Huge play here, third and nine. Flynn throws underneath. Doucette broke a tackle. Would be a 33-yard try for Colt David. Sit from 26, 29, and now 33. Keep doing its thing. Fannin and Lester are deep. Lester from the three. Crunched. Does Auburn have more late game heroics in store? Caught at the 25. Cox with time throws this one and incomplete. Hawthorne spun around. What did they call it? It's going to be interference. Judge with the penalty in great position. Stelts comes in. Helmet to helmet right there is the call. Personal foul. Number 16 on the defense. Another good play fake and a throw to the sideline to Smith. Lester, big hole. Picks up seven, maybe eight. Or really plays well, especially on the road. Ball start, 73 on the offense, 25 yards, down the foot. Season and has played well down the stretch. Cox can run if he wants. First the tailback. Lester in the flat, wide open. Makes one man miss, has a first down and more. That's well, Lester boy, dances boy. inside the yeah. 25. Three. Cox again, blitz coming. Cox with time, throws incomplete. Hawthorne had it knocked away. Cox, good protection over the middle. Lester. 15 inside the 10 to the 8 yard line. First and goal and goal at the LSU 8. Tate inside the 5 near the 3. What an impressive draw. This is unbelievable. I mean. Cox stop fade. Touchdown Rodriguez Smith. Just got it through <laughs> for LSU. A field goal would win the game. They got to get there first. And here is a squib kick taken by one of the I other men. He got to the I don't either. I mean, they've got done it to the 42. And now you have given them yeah. a situation. They go 35 yards. It's a field goal. Yeah. Under pressure. Gets a block downfield, and Flynn picks up almost 10 yards. Beautiful drive, the whole thing. Another run out of bounds at the 42, and Flynn has dodged yeah. pressure two plays in a row. Five. Flynn again, pressure coming, batted down at the line of scrimmage. Flynn in the gun. Going to run the option. And they are going to be very close. He should be about two lengths of the football oh, short. Yeah. Instead, it is a first down. That is challengeable. He goes airborne. He comes down. Right there, the ball is down. And then he kind of bounces forward. If it makes no difference. Flynn on the option again. The pitch back to Murphy with all that speed. Murphy out of bounds at the 35. Third quarter. Hester is back in the tailback. He gets the toss. Hester, first down. It would be a 42 43 yard try. Flynn again on the option. Almost bent double as he gets to the 23. The championship hopes are still alive. They need to score here. The pass underneath caught by the tight end down to the 22 yard line. Third and seven. And Flynn is back to throw for the end zone. Touchdown! Oh! What a call! That is the call of the year. Well, you tell Matt Flynn, don't take a sack. Give it a shot. Throw it up and outside. If we don't catch it, nobody does. He made a perfect throw. What a call! If that ball is incomplete, they lose. Oh, my gosh.
You're right. They lose. This crowd is stunned. This is the home team. And now Auburn is going to be reduced to just trying to lateral the ball. They can't do it. LSU has won it on a miracle finish. With so many edges to it.